every planned Fast and Furious movie that didn't happen, and why. Fast and Furious has gone from a low stakes, standalone movie to a full on blockbuster franchise, but not every envisioned project has become a reality. The Fast Saga premiered in 2001 with Paul Walker and Vin Diesel as lead actors, and it ended up spreading over 11 movies, one spin off, two different short films, and a television series as of 2023, with more to come. The Fast and Furious franchise, which grossed over $7 billion globally, was supposed to be even bigger, and some projects will never get to happen. Initially, the Fast and Furious franchise started as a street racing series with a focus on the CAR culture, culminating with the 2009 film Fast and Furious. Starting Fast Five, the saga transitioned from car races to heists and espionage, a theme that continued for the rest of the series. Fast and Furious was supposed to end with Fast X, but since there are a few rumored and confirmed Fast and Furious movies in development, the saga will likely continue in some form. Interestingly, Fast and Furious history could have been a lot different had any of its cancelled or remagened projects happened in their original forms. Although no one could see any actor portraying Dominic Toretto other than Vin Diesel, he wasn't the first choice for the part. The first film, based on the article Racer X by Ken Lee, always had Paul Walker tied to it, as Walker had worked with director Rob Cohen on 2000's The Skulls. Gary Scott Thompson wrote the original script, and the action took place in New York. However, David Ayer and Eric Bergquist were brought to the project and changed most of it. When it comes to Dominic Toretto's role, the studio initially wanted Timothy Oliphant. Luckily for Diesel, Oliphant had previously starred in a car-related film, Gone in 60 Seconds, and declined the role. Producer Neil H. Moritz suggested Van Diesel after his role in the 2000s Pitch Black. However, despite him not starring in lead roles yet, Diesel didn't accept the deal right away, and most of the script had to be rewritten with his notes before he accepted. Jordana Brewster wasn't the first choice, either, as Mia Toretto was originally written for Buffy the Vampire Slayer's Eliza Dushku. The Fast and the Furious could have been a very different film, but the final result is arguably the better version of the project. Vin Diesel didn't return for Too Fast Too Furious, even though the first installment helped launch his career. Although he was reportedly offered $25 million to reprise his role, he didn't sign on for the sequel, because he didn't feel like the film needed one and didn't like the script. Too Fast Too Furious went on to introduce Tyrese's Roman Pierce and put Paul Walker's Brian in the spotlight. However, had Diesel joined the sequel, it would surely have been massively different from what audiences got. Years later, Diesel confirmed that he would have done things differently and fought harder for revisions on the script, as he did with the first one. 